Olympics Timeline, English Plus One, Year Five, Unit Six, Sport. Please refer to your textbook page sixty-four. Read the text. What sports are mentioned? Eighteen ninety-six. The first modern Olympic Games were in Greece. There were silver medals for winners and bronze medals for second place. There weren't any gold medals. Nineteen hundred. Women weren't competitors until 1900. That year, there were more competitors than spectators. Nineteen twelve, there was an eleven-hour, forty-minute wrestling match between Martin Klein and Alfred Asikainen. It was the longest competition in Olympic history. 1916. In 1916, 1940, and 1944, there weren't any games because of war. 1920. There wasn't an Olympic flag until 1920. The flag of every country in the world has got one of the five Olympic colors in it. 1924 In the first Winter Olympics in France, the Canadian ice hockey team were champions with 122 goals. 1936 Twelve year old swimmer Inga Sorensen from Denmark was the youngest medalist in Olympic history. 1960 Abibi Bikila from Ethiopia was the first African to win a gold medal after running a marathon without shoes. 1988. Table tennis is one of the most popular sports in the world, but it wasn't in the Olympics until 1988. 2012. Hiroshi Hoketsu was a competitor in a horse riding competition at the age of 71. 2016. In Rio, golf and rugby were the first events in nearly 100 years. 2016. Okay, what sports are mentioned? Let's check. 1912. There was an 11-hour, 40-minute wrestling match between Martin Klein and Alfred Esikainen. It was the longest competition in Olympic history. Can you name the sport? Yes, it's a wrestling. Number 2, 1924. In the first Winter Olympics in France, the Canadian ice hockey team were champions with 122 goals. What sport is mentioned in this sentence? It is ice hockey. 1960, Abibi Bikila from Ethiopia was the first African to win a gold medal after running a marathon without shoes. Can you identify the spot in this sentence? It's marathon. 
The next one, 1988. Table tennis is one of the most popular sports in the world, but it wasn't in the Olympics until 1988. What sport is mentioned in this sentence? Yes, it's table tennis. 2012, Hiroshi Hoketsu was a competitor in a horse riding competition at the age of 71. Can you identify the spot in this sentence? Yes, it is horse riding. 2016, in Rio, golf and rugby were the first events in nearly 100 years. What sports are mentioned in this sentence? The sports are golf and rugby. Okay, now we go to task 2. Read and listen to the text again and write true or false. There are five sentences. Are you ready? Okay, number one. There were gold medals in the first Olympic Games. Is it true or false? The answer is false. There were only silver and bronze medals. No gold medals. Number two, there weren't any games in 1916. True or false? The answer is true. In 1916, 1940, and 1944, there weren't any games because of war. Number three, Inge Sorensen was a swimmer from Ethiopia. True or false? The answer is false. She was from Denmark, not from Ethiopia. Number 4. Abibi Bakila is a marathon runner. True or false? I know you will get this right. It's true. He was the first African to win a gold medal after running a marathon without shoes. Okay. The last sentence, number five, golf and rugby were Olympic sports for the first time in 2012. True or false? It's false. There were Olympic sports for the first time in 2016 and not in 2012. Okay, now we go to task 3. Use a dictionary to check the meaning of the words in blue in the text. There are five words. Number one, winners. Number two, competitors. Number three, spectators. Number four, swimmer. And number five, medalist. Okay, so to make it easier for you, I've already prepared the meaning of these words. As you can see, on the left side are the five words from the text and on the right side are the meaning of the words. So you just need to match them. Don't forget to use a dictionary to check or to find the meaning and then you can find 
or you can confirm the answers with your teacher. Okay. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel Patricia George. Please like and follow my Facebook page www.facebook.com slash English KSSR and please visit my website www.jagupatricia.com. See you again in the next video. Bye!